For security purposes, Microsoft has SQL Server shipped as locked down. So we're going to use the Surface Area Configuration tool to enable the ability to have distributed queries hit a machine. We're going to be accessing the second instance and remote connections. These are OK. And then Surface Area Configuration for Features. Ad hoc remote queries on the second instance and make sure that's turned on too. So when you want to execute a distributed query, meaning that your query will talk to some data outside of your local database, there's lots of different ways to do it and I'll show you several of those right now. So switch over to the CHA2 database, making that our local database. On the same machine, we have other databases. For example, here's the OBX Kites database. So if we want to reference another database on the same machine, using the fully qualified or four-part name, remember the four-part name is server.database.schema.object, we can just say, select columns from the other database.schema.object using a three-part name and you can then reference data in other databases on the server without having to worry about all the security context because the server knows who you are anyways. And if the schema is DBO, database owner, you can leave that out and just use database dot dot table name. Here we're going to use the four part name to talk to another SQL server. So it adds the first parameter of the four part name, which is the server, this is the proper name for the second instance. It's the name that we've established as the linked server name. And then database schema person. Hit execute. And ah, login failed for user SA. I told you that wasn't the right password. So let me go fix that. Server objects, HP present linked server, properties, security and turn on and personate. That way we just take our own password and pass it through rather than trying to be SA with some bogus password. Execute this again and now SQL Server likes us all as well with the world. We can use the four part name getting over to Excel and to access as well. So for Excel, the server part of the four part name is the name of the linked server connection. We call that CHA schedule over here. There is no database name, there is no schema name, and then Basecamp, this is either the name of the page or the name of the named range inside of the Excel spreadsheet. So if we execute this, there we go. And to get to the access database, this is the name of the linked server connected to the access database. Since that already is the database, we don't specify a database name in the four-part name. We don't specify a schema name, and we specify a table name for the access table. And there we're reading from access. We can even use the four-part name to update data as well. So let me open up the access database. We can watch the change. I'll set this to say Smith, save the change, go back to SQL Server, and what this will do is say update the access linked customer table, changing contact last name to Wilson where customer ID is equal to one. One row affected. Go back to access, see what happened. And a quick refresh, and we see the change, Wilson. Closing the table, going back to SQL Server.